First off, I would like to say a RP to the Godfather, Kevin Samuels. Yes, rest in peace. So sad to find out. Such a great person. Um, lost their life early. And it, and you know, people people making him out to be like he was just a woman scrutinizer, but no, he was scrutinizing men too, just the same. And it's sad to see that a lot of these women are like disrespecting somebody's death for real like i never knew it was a crime to, to tell the truth to to give criticism like i'd rather somebody lie to you than tell you the truth but then again that's why malcolm x and martin luther king died exactly and let's touch the subject like i see in the comments on the shade room that women are like celebrating his death and saying, oh, that's what he get for scrutinizing women and this, that, and the third. Like, let's get into it first of all. We both watch Kevin Samuels. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a problem with what he's saying because what he say don't apply to me. So, I guess if you were an ain't shit woman, then I guess you are mad about it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, like, but you, but they love people that would scrutinize men Shit, one of their favorite toxic is toxic, toxic masculinity. So he was combating what what some people were saying, and um, it's just sad, man. It's sad. So let's get into this report that they put out. Okay, so apparently he met a woman on May fourth, the night of May fourth. She came over and spent the night, and he died on top of her. So I guess they were having sex. So they saying like a lot of the people, women of shade women making a joke like. Oh, look, he died alone. But really, he died on top of you bitches. So. <laughs> and on top of that, like, the story is a bit sketchy to me. It's a, it's a couple of holes in this story. So, first of all, Kevin didn't even like nurses. Exactly. So, I don't see him fucking a nurse. But anyway, so you met him the night before. Then he's complaining to you that he's having chest pains. Mm -hmm. Fast forward. He collapses on top of you, and he's unresponsive. But you're saying you called for a defibrillator, but because she's a nurse. Well, why, so if he collapsed on top of you, why would you go ask for a defibrillator? Why wouldn't you go get a fucking Help. hospital? <laughs> right. Like you're you're a nurse, not a doctor. Exactly. Like I'm. And see, I'm, I'm again. So a lot of you nurse bitches. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> a lot of you nurse bitches. You know what? Go the fuck to hell. A nurse ain't shit, okay? Mm -hmm. When you got your doctor's degree, then you could tell me you could not diagnose motherfuckers. Exactly. But, uh, I don't think no nurses could diagnose motherfuckers. How the fuck? How the fuck you know to help him with a fucking defibrillator? Right. Come you just now. met this man. Exactly. So his he was it seemed like he was in tip top shape to me. Exactly. It's not like he was seventy. He was right. only fifty six. Right. Like fifty six. Yeah, it's old for, like, someone like us, but it's not really old in the world. Exactly. And, first of all, I doubt that Kevin Samuels took your word. If he's complained about chest pains, I, he will be a type of person that will go to the hospital right away. And since he hated nurses, maybe this is, like, his fat bit sneaky link meetup type thing. Right. You know what I mean? Where he just, like, that was his, like, um... Got his rocks off by, like, just disrespecting nurses and fucking them all crazy, you know, some... Right. Uh, he, he probably didn't even know she was a nurse. He just met her. Exactly. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a, all that conversation. Exactly. And, or, then, and then it's like, shit, he might have been thinking he met a good woman. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be. But this sounds like a setup because he was just in a future video. Just in the future video. Just in a future blowing video. Up. Blowing up blowing again. Up. Blowing up. And I, I think this is, is a case of foul play, if mm -hmm. you ask me. I don't think he had no heart attack. If he felt like he had chest pains, he's not going to... Uh, you think he's going to depend on a woman to mm. motherfucking help him that he just met? Exactly. Like, he would have been went to the motherfucking doctors. And, yeah, like, no. And then he was a high-value man. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure he stayed on top of his health. Exactly. And Every he, time you watch his videos, he was walking down getting Hermes, getting whatever, you know, he was a fashion designer first. Right. He he came, he came, he was on like a little Bensworth, what is it, Bensworth, Fount, Fountler, Fountler, yeah. Bensworth, you know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, the man with the umbrella. Yeah, the guy with the umbrella. <laughs> he was like that, he was a fashion designer for artists first, and then he 
used his made his own platform exactly and if you really listen to his stuff he was saying a lot of good stuff a lot of good that's how i know you motherfuckers ain't even real viewers y'all just took certain clips that y'all seen on everything of kevin samuel i watch kevin samuel's with him and he don't just come at women though if you really know about it though he really don't should he come at men harder he come at whoever a fuck person exactly so like so the only way you could feel offended if you're one of the fuck people he's talking about. Exactly. Exactly. And he never really, like... I didn't take no offense. I don't know. This is crazy. Like, and to, to see people, like, coming at somebody that's dead, it made me think, like, damn, people don't like me. So, is, <laughs> is motherfucker, when I die, is motherfuckers just going to be coming at me? I know they is. Right. Just because I said the truth and what I felt. It makes me want to go that much harder in life. And it's raining right now, and they say when people die, it rains. Right. And it's pretty fucking sad. It's pretty sad, yo. Know? And for all the people wishing death on somebody, like, what if it was one of your people? Exactly. I'm pretty sure everybody got somebody that somebody don't like and what they say. Y'all nope. want, want to be mad at Kevin Samuels for scrutinizing women, but y'all with these ain't shit niggas and baby daddies that y'all love to death. Exactly. <laughs> the fuck? Like, exactly. You ain't, and you ain't you, trying to put him and out And then there. I'm seeing, like, men saying, like, this is this is why I feel the way I do about women. You act you act like, oh, white women this, white women that. White women don't do this shit. They don't. They, they don't. don't do this shit. I don't see white women talking about Kevin Samuels in the comments. I see black bitches. Exactly. And not to talk about black bitches because I'm black. Mm-hmm. Well, I see white bitches, too, because they be trying to be down. But anyway, whatever. The case may be bitches, period. Stop that shit. Like, because you'll be quick to... To, to criticize a man. Y'all, that's all y'all do on Facebook. Criticize, criticize, criticize. Right. This is why you don't have one. Exactly. And then y'all be so quick to tear down your own black men. Exactly. But, 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 but praise the white men, the mixed men. Mm -hmm. You know, put them on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. You bunch of fucking idiots. Okay. Right, right. And this is why black men don't have confidence. They don't think they can do certain things. Because if my woman doesn't pick me up, who the fuck is? Who my, is? My mom probably already got a man. You heard, you seen Jody of Baby Boy. Right. Mama gotta have a life too. Right. That's something Kevin Samuels used to say, actually. Exactly. In case you didn't know. Mm hmm. But yeah, I, I, I don't like the. It's kind of like, I'm really trying to grasp it because this is so fresh. It's, it's like, it's really saddening to see the ignorance in the black community. For real. And like, he's the reason why I wear these glasses. Like, I done got jobs. I done got opportunities. People come up to me just because Kevin Samuel said, put on some glasses. It'll make you look better. And exactly. I, you know what I mean? Like, it's so sad. I really want to cry because this is a guy that I really did watch a lot. Yes. I was really a fan of him. And... It's a tragic situation. And, um, you know, and then, oh, people in the comments talking about, see how God works. Like doesn't you, doesn't when you die God calls you up? That's when when you're when you're when you're um, what is it? When you done completed your mission, your mission in life. You create you 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 did your purpose in life, so then you go up, you get elevated. It's like a promotion. I feel like some more stuff is about to come out about this. Um, yeah, it's sad, man. Like I can't believe this shit. I really can't. It's really crazy and. I wasn't really watching him as much lately, but I wish I did. And I'm going to keep on watching him because it made me feel better. It was like constructive criticism. It was just like life advice. It was like, you know what I mean? Everybody has a gimmick, you know what I mean? But his gimmick wasn't of hate. And it's sad as hell. And if you look on his Instagram, he just posted a video a day ago. Exactly. Like, so he looked at, he don't look like... He was joking and... Doing his little thing. Right. Like, I'm sad as hell. And it's like, um, yeah, you, you got to be careful what you do because shit will come back on you wishing death on motherfuckers and congratulating their death. And then when it happens to yours, then what? Then what? Man, this is, is sad as hell. But we're going to be, we're we going to look more deeper into this because, you know, the report just came out and we just getting whiff of it. So we're going to see what more come out i have a feeling like it's, it's gonna be a lot more to this shit and a lot of people hated kevin samuel so when they first said it i thought they was lying because 
I don't believe somebody died until I see the shade room said it, and the shade room said it. <laughs> Once the shade room said it, it's official. And, and then they saying, like, his mother confirmed it. So, like, that means he come from a family that stays, you know what I mean, had of good health because his mother got to be, you know what I mean, however old. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure he wasn't sitting there scrutinizing women and he have a mother. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was just talking about you ain't shit, bitches. He loved women. He was always with a woman. I always seen him with women in his, in his videos. Like, you really got to watch his videos. They're very good. And, like... They really helped improve just my overall character. And I wish... You don't want to respect a high-value man, but you go respect the motherfucker, ancient rapper that do nothing but scrutinize women all day and talk about spinning the block. But, oh, they get all the love, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we on your ass. But he mm -hmm. also said, had a quote about high-value women. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's sad as fuck. It's sad, man. It's really sad. And, you know, I pray that um, his family gets some type of understanding. I pray that whatever really happened comes the fuck out and shut all you motherfuckers the fuck up. And they saying that he died, but he didn't because a lot of people, a lot of young men, a lot of young women, a lot of old men and old women got his message. Exactly. And but his, those who needed the message him. and understood the message understood the assignment. Mm hmm and of course, you only feel some type of way if if it applies to you. Like they say, if that shoe fits, wear that bitch. And you motherfuckers had a problem not wearing the shoe. I don't want to make this video too long. We might make a part two because this is like really if more stuff comes out. Mm -hmm. But all you high value women and high value men out there, just um, dedicate your day to Kevin Samuels. Well, just say a prayer or whatever. And, moment of you know, silence. Moment of silence to your own self. And let's just have a moment of silence. All right. Anyway, peace.